So I want to hold this picture up here, let y'all get a good look at it. And what that does is it tells you how much time it takes or, or what it, what, how many doublings you got to get to be able to hit $5 million. So if you took a penny and you doubled it to two pennies, then you doubled the two to four, then the four to eight and the eight to 16. If you did that 30 times, 30 doublings of one penny would equal $5,368 or $68,000. That is the power of compounding money. I mean, when you start investing, it, it's a slow, slow, slow path. So if you look at this sign, or you look at this, you go all the way down to day 21 and we only got $10,485 into it. So how long does it take or how hard is it for somebody to save up $10,000? I think anybody around right now, if they needed to save $10,000, they could hit that mark in one year. Maybe they would have to take, let's say they took them two years. They can only save $5,000. I know when I was making eight bucks an hour, I was able to save $5,000 in a year. So I think you can do it if you need to do it. So, so let's say you was able to save the $10,000 up. You only got to double that $10,000 10 times to make the $5 million mark. So how do you figure out how to double that money? So we're going to do something. I'm going to talk about the rule of 72. So the rule of 72 right here, this tells you that you take your interest rate or your whatever you're, you're getting paid. Let's say you're getting paid 2% return on your investment. If you're getting 2% return on investment, you take that 72, you divide it by two, and it's going to tell you that every 36 years you will double that money. So are you going to get rich if you got to do it every 36 years? No, you are not. So let's take that out the scenario. We can't, we can't, we cannot work with 2% interest. It does not work. So what about 7% interest? We do a lot of numbers and, and, and on the numbers that we're doing on 7%, it compounds the numbers work that we did. We just did a, a breakdown of a piece of property just now and it came to 7.6% is what the yield was. So at 7%, it takes 10 years to double your money. So let's say you started working at age 20 and you had $10,000 in it. Okay. So Let's say you live, let's say you wanted to say, I need enough money by the time I'm 60 to retire and you're 20. So you got 40 years, right? It takes you 10 years to, re, to, to double that money. So how much I said it was 10,000. So the first time we're going to double it to 20. The second time we're going to double it to 40. The third time we're going to double it to 80. The fifth time we're going to double it to 160. The fifth time is $320,000. So we're talking 320,000 over a 50 year period of time. No, we just did. We just did 50 years. That doesn't work really either. I'm sorry. I mean, you're 70 years old and, and you got $300,000 from a $10,000 investment. That's just assuming you didn't put more in it. But I'm looking at this from a real estate standpoint. How long does it take my houses to double in value? 10% we're at every seven years. That's a little bit doable. I'm going to try and get 15% because I want to get to where I can double my money at least every five years. And I'm going to tell you that is not a hard number to hit, none whatsoever. So if you can double your money every five years, then to double it five times is really just 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So you can make that same goal from 20 and be 55 years old with the 360 rather than 60. So we can do that. But if you watch me run the numbers, a lot of times we are well over this 50% mark on our numbers. So it's just... It's just understanding how to tell how long it's going to take you to compound it. And then once you realize, hey, I need to be able to do it every 3.6 years, I need to, I need 20% return to do that. Can you get that? Yeah. Appreciation, depreciation, principal reduction, um, cash flow. You can make that happen. But you got to save. You got to save. Don't spend every dollar you make. Save every dollar you can. Thank you very much.